friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing tonight? Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share some thrifted goodies. I seem to be sharing uh, my little thrifted finds with you um, every Tuesday, and I thought maybe I could start calling it Thrifty Tuesday. <laughs> so I thought that would be fun anyway. We'll see about that. But um, I have a little pile of things, a little bag of things, and another bag of things in case we have time to go through all this stuff and a little bit of uh, goodies that Maria sent me here. So I won't show you the other side of the envelope, but I did want to show you how nicely she decorated. She likes her washi <laughs> and she uses it. She So yes, all this pretty, even the little Christmas trees down here on the bottom. So pretty, right? And then a card. And she said she uh, she knows I like recipe cards, and I have I don't find them hardly ever. So she uh, sent me some of her recent recipe card thrifted recipe cards here, really cute ones. Uh, they are definitely vintage, and here's what they look like. It says here's what's cooking recipe from the kitchen of, and this little image here. So those are super cute. I really love vintage recipe cards and they've got lines here and then blank on the back so that can be uh, used for a recipe cookbook journal or in a regular journal just as a uh, you know a journaling card so super fun I love 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 recipe cards so <laughs> those are going to go into my recipe and cookbook stash and then she sent me some little wallpaper tags here and these are so neat because they're so different you know what I mean from well, anything I have, I don't really have any wallpaper except for the wallpaper that Maria sent me. So, good idea and of, of punching out the tags. And then she's already got the little hole in there for me. And uh, wallpaper is usually extra sturdy. And these can be used as is or, you know, decorated. So, and these are really cute. Pretty um, shades of different colors on here. There's a little, like, paisley looking one. Very interesting at this one this could be this has got the reds it could be for Christmas here's another pretty red one with the reds really pretty I love that so yeah I got those in the mail today from Maria so thank you Maria that was a surprise I didn't know that was coming a few books uh, Betty Crocker outdoor cookbook I found and I always I love the spiral uh, like this this little coil uh, cookbook Whenever I see this on a shelf in a thrift store, I always pull it out to see what it is. And this one looked pretty neat. It looks like a, let's see what year it is, uh, 1967, I think that says. It's very tiny. <laughs> but uh, outdoor cookbook. I hadn't seen this one before, I don't think. And I just, you know, thought it looked really First of all, it's in really great shape for its age, and it's of course vintage, and you just, I like the whole vintage vibe and look of it here, so. Just grabbed me, so I had to get that. And then some more Ideals magazines I found. I've just been finding them. I've never found some any at, until this year, I think. Uh, I've been finding them. I don't know what's happening. Everyone's getting rid of them, and I'm finding them, them I, I guess. So uh, here's a Thanksgiving. These were really nice to use. I used, had some uh, two or three Christmas uh, Ideals magazines that I used in my uh, Christmas journal so far, and they have made really beautiful pages. I mean, look at this. These are just such beautiful pages. Easter. Let's see. Really pretty with all the lilies and the bunnies. Uh, these are from, let's see, these are all kind of the same size, so maybe they're from the same, you know, time period. Uh, if I can find a, if I can find a copyright real quick, I will tell you. It's always fun to know how old things are, I, at least for me. Originally $9.99, wow, $10 each. Well, I don't see the copy. Oh, wait, here's here it is on the back. This is 2007, so not that old, but these have, no matter how old, young or old they are, they kind of all have the same look. They're just different sizes, I found. Like, the older ones are a little bit bigger, 
and so these are a little smaller and but they all have a vintage you know look to them so and really beautiful pages I mean look at that color so that was the Thanksgiving that was the Easter or the two Easters let's see these got to be different from different years of course let's see if we can we love you mom and dad 1982 it says right here uh, the mom and dad was giving this to someone their child their daughter I guess April uh, mm -hmm, nope that's not the copyright let's see it's weird that they're all different places in here I need to pick a place front or back <laughs> this one it might be taking too long for me to find the copyright but uh, this looks like it is approximately 2,000, 50, 60, 50, 60, 70, 82, 1982. Just adding up those Roman numerals. <laughs> so, this is another Easter, which is, this one is 1950, 60, 50, 60, 70, 6 1976 I think very beautiful that's that one love the covers okay now did I just see one of these is this the same no it's different two different Thanksgivings they both have churches on them that's pretty a nice fall uh, leaves and trees that's neat this one looks older than that one let me see this one is uh, 80 1984 very cool very cool look at this oh my goodness that's adorable <laughs> so pretty I love these pictures and here's another yet another Thanksgiving we won't look for the uh, copyright on everyone but just to give you an idea of what these look like inside in case you know you went across some and you know, maybe online even if you don't, somebody's selling one, you don't know what it looks like inside, that's what they look like. And look how pretty on the back, the front, the pages, just really beautiful. This one says friendship. This one's got some poems and just some pretty, pretty scenery, pictures, gardeny. Cute little kids. <laughs> very, very pretty. Little stories. Bits and pieces. Okay. And another friendship. Well, that's neat. Oh, look at this picture right here. Oh, look at this picture. Wait a minute. <laughs> so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? That'd be a beautiful journal cover. Traveler's notebook. Standard size. Perfect. I wouldn't have to cut off too much. No, there was another picture here I wanted to show you. Where'd it go? I'll find it. Just a second. It was cute. Here it is. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. <laughs> Kids on the beach. Today, sand castle contest. Very cool. Very pretty pictures. What is this? Somebody cut out some circles <laughs> from another magazine, it feels like. Koala bear and a uh, little baby sleep. What does she do? Is she, she's, uh, she, oh, she's kneeling down by the bedside. Or he, he or she with their teddy bear. Isn't that cute? Somebody cut that out. That was in here. I did not put that in there. <laughs> I didn't know it was in there until just now. Did I see any other little hidden surprises? No, I don't think so. Cool. Okay. That's pretty. Um, this is a paper pad I picked up this week. I finally went by Tuesday morning. I haven't been there in a good while. Probably, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've been there since the no spend. So that would be September, October, November. Pretty much three months. I hadn't been there over three months. And... I've been resisting going there because I always find something I want there. But I was pretty good. All I bought was this one paper pad. I had picked out more stuff and then I put it all back and just got this. This was my favorite thing. 
This is a uh, Country Kitchen, 24 single-sided papers uh, by Stephen Duncan, 12 by 12 paper pad, Echo, down here it says Echo Park Paper Company, just in case you uh, like this and want to look for it. Uh, it was $6.99 at Tuesday morning, and here's what I fell in love with when I uh, looked at it. I want to make some recipe and cookbook type journals, or this could be good in a farm farm journal. Or, you know, look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? These you could cut apart or leave this as a whole page, and it is cardstocky type, you know, paper. Look at that beautiful page of daisies. Uh, this is, says my garden, so a garden journal. This is all uh, roosters and chickens, and little chicks too. <laughs> There's little chicks on here, little flowers. These are different colored polka dots, like you can probably see the colors pretty well. These can be cut apart here, like recipe. Here's a recipe card, welcome to our coop, wish list. Just all kind of cute little cards. Uh, green and white gingham, and then I think we start. I think we're starting over here, aren't we? Let's see. No, no, we haven't seen this one yet. So flowers. Okay. I think we saw this one then, didn't we? And this one. Yeah. Now we're starting over. Okay. <laughs> so two of each paper, I guess. Very cool. I love it. So that's why I got that one. And then this little bag is from a thrift store around and all I bought was this okay two things uh, this is a thrift store that I think is uh, I don't think it's nationwide but I really don't know it's called Freedom House Thrift uh, there's two in Greensboro and these are some more paper coasters I can't believe this is my this is the year of the paper coaster apparently I keep finding them recently and so these are not Christmassy the last a few packs I found were Christmas, and then I found one last summer that was uh, not Christmas. So this is only my second pack of non-Christmassy ones, but I want to see what they look like out of this paper. And this is vintage. I can tell it's just really that paper on here. Wow, this is hard to get into. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that this looks uh, this looks. Like it has a fairly good bit of age on the package here. So these are really pretty. I like the little, almost like a little doily uh, type coaster. It's got the scalloped edges, pretty little trims all around, and then this little center trim there or decoration. Really pretty. I love these paper coasters. And they all have that little plasticized waterproof back there. So. Love those. Not that many as the other bunches I found, but they were inexpensive. Uh, I don't know. How much did they charge me for those? They charged me a dollar, I think. Yeah, a dollar. So, and then uh, this was a pack of... Uh, what I saw, I, had, I didn't open it in the store. I didn't think they would appreciate that, but I wanted to kind of explore it with, with you all, my friends. So, uh, if I can get it open here, I will we'll see what's in here. I don't have my scissors right here. I don't know why I don't. Because this has like tape over the top of it right here. I'll just grab my scissors and cut it open. But it's uh, what I saw was the buttons. And what I really saw was the button cards. And so, uh, you know, I'm kind of collecting stuff for my next pattern journal so I thought this could be interesting so let's see what's in here let's just pour it out and then we'll pour it back in the bag maybe if we can so yeah cool I mean I just saw a bunch of button and button cards so here's a button card I'll just kind of flip through here a little container of buttons these are all are these buttons they're like um they're like button, I think, well, they're kind of like, I'm going to say button caps, but I don't really know. But they don't have holes to sew them on. They just have a little thing that would, that would like fit over like a button or a snap or something. So a bunch of those. Interesting, right? <laughs> Something different. 
and they were all apparently in here so set that over there and then just some miscellaneous buttons here this is fabric covered so throw that back in the bag so we can kind of gather everything back in here i just want to see the button cards here, whoa <laughs> here's another one of these gold a big fabric covered a little just a little tiny button card here cute maybe they have another one i can put back on there this is the cap to the little container cool neat <laughs> A little, uh, this is a, what is this? This is a little eyelet. Cool. I can use that. You know, I got my crocodile recently. <laughs> okay, some more odds and ends buttons here. These are probably all vintage buttons, so I can add these to my vintage button jar. Uh, maybe I can pick up all the odds and ends here. Throw them back in the bag. What was that? That was a little... A little like a pearl, pearl uh, colored button. Okay, let's see. Extra buttons from a coat or something. Let's see what's in here. I like the little bag though. Look at that little brown bag. Isn't that cute with the reinforcement there? That's neat, actually. Just that by itself. I love some little, uh, these are little square, kind of square buttons. Cool. I'm going to leave the buttons out. I love this little bag. That's a cute little piece of ephemera. Here's another little bag of buttons. Jones, New York. Let's see what's in here. Just a little gray button. <laughs> I'm going to leave all the buttons out of the little bags so I can use those little bags. Uh, let's see. Here's a little Ziploc bag with a button in it. little orange button. And I do, when I find little bags like this, I do reuse them if I can. Now, this one seems to be sealed shut. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. Yeah, if I can reuse them, I do, uh, if I have something small to uh, mail and package up, I'll put this in my, with my, uh, my, you know, shipping supplies and you reuse those. So, that's cool. Some more odds and ends. These, this little one is cute here. More odds and ends. So this a little black one. Here's a little fabric color covered blue and another Ziploc bag. I'm just kind of cleaning with, I'm organizing with you too, right? <laughs> Dumping all the little buttons in that bag. Let's see, here's a button card with some gray buttons on it six gray buttons so let's see button cards go here oh this is a little sewing kit or it used to be a sewing kit there are probably pins and things in here but here's a little thread interesting that could be used in a pat sewing pattern journal very neat uh some more little wow well, that's a little ziplock there's a lot of little ziplock bags in here oh my goodness <laughs> Wow, I just am noticing how many little Ziploc bags are in here. This could take me forever to open up all these on, on video, right? A little gold and a little gray button. Okay, so zip. Uh, let me put this empty Ziploc. This is a little, um, just a little plastic with a fold over, uh, you know, top. This one's a Ziploc. I'm going to just pile the Ziplocs we haven't opened right here. Another little eyelet thing. This is, I guess, this is how they maybe they used to come, but these are silver, little silver eyelets, and I don't have any silver ones, so these will be fun to use with my crocodile. Uh, button here, Jones, New York, from Macy's. Return uh, label here, and it's got the little big little, big little button <laughs> right there on the button, kind of like a button card. Let's see, we've got. Uh, Oh, this is a neat little envelope. My offering to, uh, this is a little offering envelope. Isn't that adorable? Does it have a button in it? <laughs> she saved it. Oh, it's got a little uh, threader, a little threader in there. Now that could even be used in a pattern journal. I'm gonna put that over there. I just now thought of that uh, when I saw that. You know, it's sewing related. And this is the cutest little, uh, Offering envelope. Isn't that adorable? So I'm going to put that over here with my little envelopes. Okay, another little button card. Just some white buttons. 
extra one taped on there, so that goes there. Oh, these are adorable. These are little tiny buttons. Aren't those pretty? On that button card. And then another little envelope with something maybe in it. Oh, this one's empty. Oh, there's something in there. It's a little, kind of a frosty little white, frosted white button. Put that in there and another cute little envelope. I love the little envelopes. Okay, Ziploc, Ziploc, Ziploc. Okay, look at all these little, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Ziploc, envelope, envelope. Wow, these are so cool. I actually just love, I actually really love these though. <laughs> Doesn't take much to get me excited, right? All these little button envelopes. Ziploc, button card. There's some charcoal colored. Oh, what's this? <laughs> a picture of... This was on a dress shirt. Okay, and here's some little buttons. And a dress shirt. And there's a good-looking guy there that came with the shirt. Uh, button envelope. Button envelope. Button card with two little buttons on it here. Probably saw... You saw all the button cards. So I'm going to call this pile done. This is a little... Let's see, it's, I'm trying to see if this is worth keeping. It doesn't fold over or um, zip, so I'm going to say that's not worth keeping because uh, everything would fall on, out of it unless I taped it shut. Now these are really cute with the white, with the green on the outside. Those are adorable. So we've got, here's a, yep, more Ziploc bags. And okay, so we're just about ready to pick some of these buttons up, and we're just about organized here. I guess I'm gonna have to do this later because there is way too many to take out of the little all these little bags and envelopes. Or maybe we'll empty the envelopes and you can look see through the bags. But just to show you <laughs> all of these little Ziploc bags that someone collected here. Here's a little uh, something here. Don't know. I mean, I know that it goes with a belt or something, I guess. Okay, some thread that we can throw out. Okay, so buttons I'm going to throw in here. Okay, I'm just going to pile the little buttons in my hand so you can see what is here. Just There's some little pieces of fabric on here, so these might have been taken off clothing. Uh... What is this? Something a little different here. That's different. That's really neat. Kind of a neat color. Turquoise-ish. Here's a little metal one. Kind of like a knot. French knot or something. Okay, so let me just kind of pile some more in my hands so you can see what's here. So I can see what's here. Anything. Kind of just regular old buttons, you know. Nothing special but they're probably old so that's cool I like these little little tiny ones there's a little blue one there throw that in there I like this this one here it's pretty that one's really pretty okay and then a bunch more oh here's a here's an eyelet let me put that with the eyelets where are they over here okay oh another eyelet right here I can put that back in that little card or in my little bag of eyelets that I have that I'm using. All of these are just regular kind of black and white. There's a blue one there. Kind of a light blue one. Just regular buttons, so, but they come in handy to uh, decorate journals too. Okay, so let me clean up here. Okay, so now all of these, these just are like black. There's a bit, you know, different sizes, white. I'll see if I see anything special, but I'm going to throw these back in the bag now. little tan and black. Here's a little uh, leopard uh, kind of animal print button. That's cute. And then all these, there's like a peachy one, a pink one, black, different sizes. 
black, different sizes, a gold one with some thread, white, red, just all different, kind of plain, plain but different sizes. Here's a red one. So I'll go back and take all these out of these little bags probably and just add all the buttons to my vintage button jar. So that's all the Ziploc bags, you saw that. And the envelopes that are empty are over here. And these are all the envelopes we did not. Another one of these brown ones, that's cool. Just some white buttons. You never know what you're gonna find in here, right? A white button. <laughs> we might find something special. Coat from Brooks Brothers. Okay, a little tag to $229.90. Coat buttons. Cool. They're camel or tan colored. That's neat. I might put that. I think I'll leave it out of the envelope so I know it's there. That receipt in case I want to use that for something. Another one of these. I like these brown envelopes. I wish there was more of these. There's three of them all together. There's a gray and a white button. Uh, Liz white shirt. Wow, she labeled her button. <laughs> like I would never probably do that. I mean, I'm pretty organized, but well, I don't. I don't think anything I've ever bought has had a paper paper envelope with it, you know what I mean? For the buttons, it's always been like like the Ziploc bag type of thing. So maybe these are really old. Uh, this has a staples in it. So this one's stapled closed. Maybe this one's special. <laughs> Let's see if I can get these staples out of here and see what's in here. Extra buttons. It has on the envelope extra buttons right here. That's cute. <laughs> I haven't seen that. I don't think. Well, this one has extra buttons on it too. This one says extra buttons. They're blue. That's different. They're pretty blue ones. That's neat. Okay. Extra buttons. So all these say extra buttons. Okay. <laughs> Very neat. Black one. Just a black button. But I love all these little envelopes. Just a different black button. Okay, so we saw all of that. <laughs> that was interesting. But uh, I, you know, I like I like it. I like it. I like all the sewing stuff. That'll be fun to use in my journals. So yeah, cool. Button cards, envelopes, all of these envelopes here. Look how many I got. <laughs> that was worth it just for these little envelopes. They're so cute. All these little vintage envelopes. That's awesome. Okay, so the other bag of stuff. I guess we have a minute for that, probably. Let me see where we're at. Yeah, we have. We can probably get through this other bag in a few minutes, and I'll be caught up. Um, this fabric. I don't need any fabric, but I saw this, and it was just fabric, and uh, it was this color, orange and green, and I just, I, I couldn't pass it up because it was so different. I uh, didn't know if I would. It looked vintage. It looked old to me. I don't know if it really is or not, but I just thought, you know, I don't know how old this is, and it's just something so different than what I normally see. I had to get it, so I, I love it, so I got it. That's I'm not buying any fabric right now. I just, if I absolutely love it like this, then I'll buy it, and I figure if I get too much, I'll just do a CD stash and share some, right? Okay. So the other couple of other things I found, uh, this computer, this was from, this was from a thrift store and this is computer paper. I want to open this up, not right now, but I want to open it up and it's just a uh, computer stationery and it says Merry Christmas and it has this like Buffalo check red and white border. So, and there was four of them. So that will last me for a good long time for Christmas journals. And so I want to get this out and use it right now. My last couple of Christmas journals that I'm making for this year. And I have some, found some little 
this is a party invitation and this is a uh, you know just a card with I think it looks like there's envelopes in there so it looks like well let's open it up real quick I just want to see if it's a folding card or just a flat card like a postcard so this is because there, there's some like this too but these are the only one like this with these cards so these are single cards okay single cards and then they're blank on the back and what is it says date time place and just are there envelopes yeah there's envelopes in here too so very cool yep okay so that's that and then these invitations the point study as I thought were really pretty. Two packs of those I found. I just found a bunch of really interesting stuff this time. Sometimes I walk out of there with nothing and this time I found a bunch of stuff. This little bag of charms. There's little beads in here like Christmassy colored beads and the thing I really wanted in here was the little charms. There's a little stocking. Okay, so let's see. I just want to see what the charms are in here. I don't want to dump out all these beads, though. Another stocking. So are they all stockings? This is a... Uh, is this a, the same type of stocking? They're different stockings. Like, if you can... Let me show you up close. Because this one has a bow on it. This one has something coming out of the top. This one has a little like something coming out of the top and a little bow on the side so you can see they're all oops first of all they're really small <laughs> and second they're all different so let me see there's some more in here you know and charms aren't cheap you know so I think they charge me maybe a dollar for this bag and there's one two three four five five charms so far plus all these little beads I can use and there's one more charm in here I think yes what is this there's some other little beads in here oh bead caps like bead caps so well there goes a bead this one has a pretty little candy cane so here's the other three stock so there's six stockings in here that's what I really bought it for was these little charms. I thought they were so cute. And it's still Christmas time, so I can use some of these in my last couple journals. So these are little adorable stockings. <laughs> awesome. I love those. Yeah, I didn't open. This was behind the counter. They put the weirdest stuff behind the counter. Like, it's not valuable. I guess I, they figure maybe they put this behind the counter because, you know, if a kid got in here... Uh, and just dumped all these out. They'd be just all over the place. Maybe that's why they put it back there. But, um, so these are all the same, right? Yes. So they're just invitations. But I like to use stuff like this in my journals for journaling spots. And they're really pretty little poinsettia uh, cards. They're even pretty without that plastic on there. Uh, usually there's no date on a card. These are Hallmark copyright. Yeah, they do uh, have a copyright on most, especially Hallmark cards. It's a Hallmark card. It does have a copyright. So I don't copy cards anyway, but um, these are cute. Yeah, I like these. They're a nice little size. And here's the inside. All lots of room for writing. Lines. There's the back. So neat. Yeah, these are just really pretty out of that plastic. They look so much prettier out. Look at that. Isn't that... That's really kind of amazing. <laughs> they looked pretty in the package, but they look even prettier out of the package. Okay, was there anything else? Oh, yes, there was. <laughs> A few more things we can get through here. And we'll be caught up. Okay. So, uh, this little, the girl, <laughs> cash, cash register, uh, 
the uh, cashier didn't know what this was. She's like did, trying to figure out how to charge me for it. And I said, well, I would call it a doily, but they don't have a doily button. So she rang it up like a, she said, I'm going to call it a washcloth. <laughs> so she rang it up as a washcloth. But uh, yeah, it has all these little, I can, I figure I could cut this apart. I mean, I figured this was a perfect thing to cut apart because these really, to me, don't belong with this. So I thought I would cut all these little flowers off of here and use them separate from the middle doily part. So, and they're just all little crocheted. I mean, can you imagine crocheting one of these flowers? Very, uh, you know, intricate here. I mean, look at the light. There's layers here. So... Anyway, that's my plan for that, to cut that apart. It's just calling to be cut apart. And then I just had a gingham attack or something because <laughs> I bought all this red and white gingham. And then these green and white, pink and white, and yellow and white. And I think these are just like napkins, cloth napkins. But I like... I really like using cloth napkins for cutting up and using the fabric on your journals because you don't have to buy a big piece of fabric. You just have a little piece of fabric, like almost like a fat quarter to use. And, you know, they're very, if you find uh, cloth napkins at a thrift store, they're usually really cheap. So, and then you get all those different, you know, pieces of fabric. So the last couple things are, this was just so pretty, I thought I just might put this in my shop. Uh, let me see, what exactly is it? Okay, so it's two scar, like I'm gonna call them scarves, or they could be considered tea tap, not tea towels, but they could almost be considered like a little towel, like a guest towel that you hang, but it's not something you would actually use, it's something like decorative that you would hang in your bathroom maybe or put on a counter I could just see it folded up on a counter or something just very pretty and delicate and it's got this pretty embroidery here and this fringe kind of like a I don't know if it's crocheted or what exactly this little stitching would be or you know it it's kind of like almost like it's braided or something but very pretty and there's two of those so I just thought I would get those and put them in my Etsy because I do like to sell tea towels in there and these, these just reminded me of tea towels so that's why I picked those up not for me to use in my journals and then this I don't know I just thought these were first of all I like the stitching here on the outside kind of like I guess this I think this might be called a I don't think this is a whip stitch I think this is a blanket stitch possibly I'm not really an expert on that but and then there's a little um, embroidered butterfly here and some little embroidery trim here right right in this corner I just thought it was really pretty I like this yellow kind of cottony fabric and again I believe these are probably cloth napkins because there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so, and they all have that same little embroidery in the corner. So, I don't know, I probably will put these into my stash for a while and see if I use them. And then if I don't use them, they could end up in my shop. But uh, I thought this could be really cool to use this little butterfly uh, in a journal. But I'll see. I'll see if I, I don't want it, them, you know, I don't like things to hang around too long in my craft room. So if I don't end up using them within a reasonable amount of time, they will go in my shop too. And I might just put them in there anyway. <laughs> Since I don't have any more room for fabric right now. So, yeah, I just thought those were pretty and different, you know, and I like that stitching on the outside. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, had fun seeking and searching for these goodies, so uh, I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching tonight, and happy crafting, and happy thrifting.